Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about delete uh, versus remove. I already created a video about it uh, a long time ago and this one is going to be updates. And uh, I'm also going to talk uh, in more details and I'll give you some examples. Uh, what's the difference between them and when to use what and also how can you recover any kind of uh, object that you have deleted. So um, let's start with the delete function. Delete can be used uh, everywhere. You can delete a body, you can delete a function, you, uh, um, uh, any kind of object that you want. As you can see here, it can be sketches, it can be features and so on. And let me show you here. But remove, you can only use on bodies. Okay, as you can see here, this is the remove and you also have the delete. But if I'm going to go to the sketch, I don't have the remove. Also, <clears throat> sorry here, and the features, I don't have the remove. I only have a delete. Now, the difference between them is if we take a look at the remove icon here, which basically saying uh, I'm removing it, I'm removing this fit this body from here and on which means you're not going to see it uh, in the future but as you can see the arrow basically tells us but it still exists in the past so um, this way you can always go back and you can always change that okay we can just remove this feature remove we all, it's almost like we're hiding we're not exactly removing it we're hiding it from the future okay uh, from that moment that you decided, okay, I don't need that body anymore. Now, what I usually do in many cases, um, instead of removing or in general also uh, deleting bodies, I just create a folder, as, the, as like you see here, I just call it leftovers, and I'm going to put in everything inside there. Because I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use it, not use it, whatever. It doesn't really bother me. It's over there and that's it. Now, what I noticed um, quite often, people deleting features uh, or bodies and sketches. And you have later on other features or sketches or bodies which are dependent on them. And then what usually happen is um depend on the severity you can either get a warning which usually happened or you can also get kind of an arrow like a red um icon here so and that is because that the reference doesn't exist anymore and i'm going to give you an example here i'm going to delete this feature here which is a split feature i'm just going to delete it and it's, as you can see, the first time you see, it gives us a warning. This feature is referenced by other features in the timeline. Are you sure you want to delete it? So let's just say, I'm sure. So now we're doing computing. And now we get the warning. And basically tells us that LOF2 and 3, basically using it as a reference. See, one reference uh, error failure. So these two were actually using this split command as a reference, but now it doesn't exist anymore. So we have a problem. We get this error and this is not good. This is really not good. And many times this kind of errors can really affect our performance and later on also the design and it can really cause all kind of weird stuff. So we need to avoid it. So what we're going to do in this situation now? Now, first we can either go back which means we're going to undo, now it's back. And that's it, problem solved. But let's say we have this situation where we didn't undo because, or we didn't notice after we delete this feature or we didn't know. So now you can watch this and you can see how you can recover it. And then what you did is you created save and you clicked OK. Then you exit this uh, file, okay? And then later on you decided, okay, now I wanna uh, continue working on this file. 
So we open this one. And then suddenly you notice uh, that, oh, I've been a mistake here. Now uh, how can I'm, uh, how I'm going to fix it? Okay. So that's kind of a problem because now we cannot go back anymore. Before we had the option because it was still, we were still inside the cache environment. So we can go back, but now that's it. Uh, so what are we going to do now? Luckily, as you noticed, uh, every time we save our work, every time we create a change, we have the option to save our work. So, which means Fusion creates a new version. And in order to get access to that, we can go back to our project here and you click on the arrow here beside the version. And you can see here we have this version that we're using right now. And then we have the previous version. And so what we're going to do, how we have two options, we can promote it or we can open it. Now, in order to go back, so first what I'm going to suggest for you is to just close this one. And this one, obviously, we cannot promote, cannot do anything because this is the current one. Now we can go and click promote. And now what's going to happen if I'm going to click on it and I'm going to open it. So here we go. We went back. We used the previous version and this is how we can fix it. But this is, of course, is useful when you catch this mistake early on. OK, right after. But not, you know, when you continue and continue and continue, then you have a problem because then you have, I just say you made like, I don't know, 20 changes. And um, after the, and those <clears throat> changes were relatively major changes. You created new stuff and new features and new bodies and so on. And now the only option that you have is just to go back, which means you're going to lose all those changes. And that's a shame. OK, so that's why I'm teaching you this. So the moment you see this arrow and even though you saved it and you exit the, the your, your file, you can still go back, recover it very quickly. OK, and so that's why you also have to remember, be careful when you're deleting anything in the system. OK, unless you're 100 percent sure. At least let's just say you are right now in this here. OK, so now we can delete. OK, boom, that's it, because you have nothing here that uh, can be affected by it. But if you are in this area of the timeline, be careful when you're deleting any kind of feature or body. So my suggestion is for you, if it's a body, avoid deleting it. It's really not necessary in general. Just create, you know, right click on the body folder here, create a new group and just, you know, drag and drop it. OK, I can take it. Boom. Put it over there if it's if I don't need it. So everything is right here and it's not bother us and it's nicely structured. And unless it's a body that you know, nothing is um, depends on that. You didn't use it as a reference, then that's fine. Now. Again, the same for features. So be careful when using all kinds of features. If you regret, so um, try to do it at that moment, okay? And delete it and create something else instead. Because then what's going to happen if something else, another feature um, object is depend on that feature that you have created, for example, in this case, it's a split, which is quite an important uh, command. And this feature in later on that I've created the skin uh, the patch here. So it is um, it's quite it was dependent on this one. And now this one is not exist anymore. Then we have a problem. OK, so don't just delete stuff before you understand exactly what the impact is going to be. And if you done that, so pay attention for the information that you get in the timeline. If you get a warning, fix it immediately. Don't wait later on. So, OK, so be vigilant if you can also can say it. OK, you made an error. Fine. Let's fix it. OK, or try to do things in a different way. 
uh, or maybe cut the dependencies on this one or you're gonna have to just to try to figure it out for example um, if you're gonna right click on it you can't see it right now because the drop down it's go down uh, downward I don't know why let's just say um, yeah let's just say you can what you can do for example you can suppress a feature and then you can see what will happen if for example I'm gonna delete it okay what kind of impact it's going to have so as you can see I suppress this extrude and you can see it's gonna impact on a lot of other features and bodies in the future okay in the timeline here so this is gonna be a good test before you delete something uh, what is gonna be the impact so I'm just gonna right click on it again and unsuppress it and that's gonna revert everything back to normal so this is very shortly and uh, very short um, the difference between delete and remove okay so remember remove you can only use on bodies and delete you can use on anything remove remove the body from that point and on and but the body still exists uh, in the past okay so we didn't really remove it exactly we, we kind of hide it okay we don't want to see it anymore we don't need it to see it anymore and uh, because we we just used it for something else for example okay and uh, we used it to create another kind of shape or something like that but as a good practice as i told you uh, try to work with the uh, put it in a different folder create an, another folder under the body folder the bodies folder and called it uh, leftovers or something like this okay no yeah unneeded bodies or whatever give it your name so you can just put it over here and that's it because it doesn't matter what if you're gonna say okay i want to have like a clean uh, timeline but you're still gonna have this uh, symbol okay so if i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove this one for example this piece of body i'm gonna do uh, i cannot remove it from here but this one this one so it's this one here um just a second i'm gonna do a remove so you can see from the po this point now on i'm not gonna see this body but if i'm gonna go past it you see it's here but i'm still gonna have an icon so we're not exactly gonna clean anything here so i'm just gonna delete this one that's it so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have uh, questions, you still don't understand exactly how it works, let me know. And remember, you can always recover deleted a any yeah anything you deleted, but um, it's going to be worth uh, using this um, uh, revert you know promoting a previous version uh, only if you um, you know figured out this error immediately okay but if you waited too long you've made it way too many changes and you're gonna have to go way back then you're gonna lose all those changes so remember to always check out make sure that you don't have any errors uh, in your timelines or warnings it's very very important so good luck with your project and i'll see you in the next video bye